Let's talk about the Derive node. The Derive node offers six methods to create a new field. In this video, we're going to talk about using the Derive node as a formula. The Derive node is located in the field ops palette. This node allows you to modify data values or to create new fields from one or more existing fields. When you use the Derive node as a formula, it allows you to create a new field that's based on the results of a Clem expression. So in this example, the table on the left has the number of stereos, TVs, and speakers sold. The table on the right now has a new field, item sold, that basically adds up the number of stereos, TVs, and speakers sold. So that's an example of how you can use the derived node as a formula to create a new field, in this case, the total number of items sold. Let's go through an example of how to use a derived node. In this case, what we're going to do is we're going to use a derived node so we can derive a field as a formula. So what we're going to do is we're going to go down to the field ops palette and we're going to connect our source node to a derive node. We're going to edit the derive node. Now the first thing we need to do is we have to specify what mode we want to run this derive node in. Do we want to run it in the single mode or in the multiple mode? With a single mode, that means that you're going to create only one new field. With a multiple mode, that means that you're creating many fields at one time. Typically, people use the derive node in the single mode, which is what we're going to use in this example. Now the next thing we need to do is we have to specify the name of the new field. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on the derived field box and we're going to write in the name of the new field which is going to be items sold. We then have to specify how we want to derive this new field and the default is that we're going to derive it as a formula. Now we could add in our expression right in the expression box but instead what we're going to do is we're going to click on the expression builder because I find that to be a little easier. So I'll click on the expression builder. And now we have to specify what our expression is going to be. Now to create our expression we can end up using any one of these different function types within each function type. You can see that there are several. Within each function type there are going to be different functions and once a function is selected you can see the definition of that function down below. You can also use any one of these different operations. So you can add, subtract, multiply, divide. You also have the different fields that you could uh, use as well. And if you end up selecting a categorical field, for example, I'll select payment method, I can click on the field values button and that allows me to select one of those values if I needed to. I'll close out here. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to create a new field called items sold and it's really just going to be a very simple field that's going to be the number of stereos sold so I'll select that. I can select it once click on the yellow arrow and bring that up into the expression box I can now click on the plus sign so I'm going to take the number of stereos that I've sold plus the number of TVs that I've sold and I could just double click this if I wanted to plus the number of speakers that I've sold and that's going to tell me how many items I sold to each one of these different customers. I'll click OK and you can see that's my expression now. I'm going to derive this new field as a formula and I could also specify the field type as well. And This is going to be a continuous field. I'll click OK. And Now I want to take a look at what I just created so I'll go down to the output palette. I'm going to connect my derived node over to a table and I'm just going to run the stream now. You can see for the first case we have uh, somebody that bought five stereos, eight TVs, and 86 speakers. If we add those three up, that adds up to 99 items. And if we scroll over to the end of the file, you can see that that person purchased 99 items. So it's always a good idea to check your work. But that's an example of how you can use a derive node so that you can derive a field as a formula. 